can hear you. It's okay. Thank you, Mr. Right. Kensley. Well done, clear, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you and welcome to this very wonderful uh, webinar. My name is Agbaje Bamidele. I'm the acting CEO, COO of um, Trade with George FX. I welcome every one of us especially to this event. And I can assure you that we are going to get the best out of the guests today. Um, we are going to be starting the event of any moment. We are already starting now. And then I want to implore every one of us to pay a very close attention to what the guest is going to be talking about today, because we are going global. Africa is going global. Africa is going to make it happen. And we are the set of people that want to make it happen. I have the privilege and the pleasure, in case you do not know, to introduce to you the convener of this great meeting, one of the best hand in forex trading, not only in Nigeria, but in Africa and the world over, he is one of the best uh, trader in the investment bank in UK. Uh, he has a very expert technical analysis in robot building and automation system. The convener has um, mentored over 1,000 individuals physically, teaching them the art of trading Forex and over 30,000 people has been mentored online by him. As I speak with you now, he has raised over 70 Forex mentor. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me to welcome Mr. George Magnus, the CEO, Trade with George FX. Please, you are welcome, sir. Mr. George, you are welcome, sir. While we are waiting for Mr. George to come on up, I think there's a little technical inch and we're trying to sort that. Mr. George will begin to speak very soon. Please. Uh, Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now, sir. You have the floor. Thank you very much, sir. You can go ahead. Please, ladies and gentlemen, right. you might thank, thank you very you much. Mic while Mr. George take the floor. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Abadjedele. Thank you for um, being a great person in our community. Thank you everyone for being in this segment. This is Mr. George. For some of us that have not been able to see me, it's good to have you this time. This is a continuation to our dream in expanding trading here in Africa to the global world, solving real problems solving the, um, the problem that are connected in our continent, which is majorly poverty. I think poverty is one of the problems and we are using trading as a poverty alleviation scheme. So this evening we are majored and focused on trade, brand and penetrate the market. So this program is for forest mentors, for business owners, it's for investment firms, it's for high prolific individuals. We have traders here. It's an opportunity for you to also benefit from this inspiring 
um, event. First of all, I want to thank everybody for being with us on this platform. We do appreciate your coming. We have some friends that are outside. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Um, Mr. Charles Wangi, the first mentor with a large following, up to 6,000 followers on Telegram, up to 24K, 24K followers on um, Facebook. And um, we have other hosts, others we are not uh, mentioning so much of names this evening. So, but thank you all for coming. Thank you all for attending. I can see your names on the list while I go through the list. So, but before then, we are going to have um, Balogun Taiwo. Some of us do not know that Balogun Taiwo, who is going to be a uh, our major speaker for tonight is going to take us on trade, brand, and penetrate the market. This is somebody that has been in this market even before I thought of joining the market. So he's well experienced in forest trading, he has been in forest trading industry for over two decades. I can tell without exaggerating words. So, because I make sure that we have the best on this platform. He has traded and he has made his publications even in Nigeria here, even in the West Africa, even onto the globe. I think one of the times I was about to start learning, I came across a newspaper that had an article on Elliot Wave, which was by Mr. Balogun Taiwo. So I think that was one of the places I started following him up. I, nowadays, we don't have people writing articles about forex and newspaper anymore. So, and he's also a brand strategist. He's a guru in the field of branding business. Um, he, he gives businesses a, a good touch, either an online business or a business that has physical presence. He offers the best um, so much. So we, we are opportunate to have him talk to us this evening, speak to us this evening, enlighten us. And he's also a business developer a business developer, a consultant, uh, which has um, reputable results. He has been able to work with lots of brokerage firms. He brought most brokerage firms here to Nigeria. He brought them. He um, even, there are some forest businesses that came into Nigeria that he brought into this country. So he has been of so much impact to the forest community here in Nigeria. You know, some of us may not be able to know who are these guys that have been able to put in so much, put in so much into the forest community, bringing it to this level that we find it, you know, ensuring that this thing gets down to this generation. So we are going to have them on board time after time. Today we are taking up from Mr. Taiwo Balogun. In our next series, we are looking into even having people from outside the shores of Nigeria. So very soon he's going to come online and he's going to take off from me. So before he comes up and um, before I beep him, I want to especially um, thank the mentors for gracing this occasion, gracing this um, great moment with all of you. We really, really, really do appreciate. So thank you very much. I'm just trying to drop a um, message. Just a reminder. All right. So I remember um, we also have um, the promotions that we're going to be giving out to um, most of the attendees of this event, if not all of the attendees, because our dream is to assist um, trading and traders in Africa. So one of the things that we have funding program which we're able to bring up which is helping and is assisting traders so around this there's necessity for forex education because without education forex is not going to go um we're not going to um, have what we demand for so that is why we are hosting forex mentors we keep hosting them to ensure that we solve the problem that we want to solve 
So, and uh, also for the mentors, we'll be giving out um, evaluation accounts for them. So, I, I, our team is already taking notes of who, who and who are in the event. So, you're taking notes, don't bother yourself, you're taking notes of your name, your details. Um, at most cases, you may decide to drop your details at the end, that is fine. You're not in the WhatsApp group. So without wasting time, I've given us so much introduction about the, the guest for today. And he's, it's us here. So it's going to take up from here. I've done extensive about him. He, he brought in a lot of forex companies into this country a lot of brokerages, a lot of forest um, academies that are globally, he brought them in here. I told you he has been in this industry for over two decades. He wrote articles um, here in Nigeria, expanding to Africa and down to the other globe. I told you those days, I never knew anything about trading. I came across his write up in the newspaper so you could understand something of that nature. And then he is also a business developer. He has been into developing a whole lot of businesses, not just forest businesses, but any kind of business. Thank you. He can do that perfectly well. So we are honored to have him speak to us today. And at the same time, he is a brand strategist. He is an expert in branding, in branding online businesses, offline businesses. Is it from him you're gonna learn so much he has premium courses that you pay online to learn these courses they are there and i can tell you that those that went through those courses their lives never remain the same their businesses never remain the same so but if we're going to have it for the next 5 10 15 21 hour it's going to be life-changing for all of us so i want us to pay rapt attention so at this moment i welcome you sir thank you so much i will you're welcome. God bless you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Very much, George Magnus. I want to appreciate you for this opportunity. Thank you for giving me this uh, privilege to be a blessing to your community. So please, I first of all want to apologize for coming a bit late. I think I'm one minute late because I was, <laughs> although I jumped from another program to this program. But however, I promise it's going to be a wonderful session uh, together. So I want to also welcome everyone that are joining, participating tonight. I appreciate you. All of you, I appreciate you so much. I can't begin to mention your name, but the fact that you are here, I want to appreciate you and also appreciate uh, Mr. George Magnus for this wonderful uh, session, wonderful meeting, for being able to, to motivate, motivate, uh, these people to be part of this program you and i love what you're doing i've been following your stuff for some times and i am pressed i must i must i must confess so everybody if you are not busy with your hand please give uh, give it up to mr george give it up to him give it up to him all right so now uh tonight we'll be looking at them um, the topic one of the very important topic that i love so much and that is a uh, uh, trade pen uh, trade brand and trade the market is a very broad topic combination of three different topics three different different subjects let me put it that way let me say subject because trading is a subject on its own branding is a subject on its own and penetrating the market is also a broad subject on its own so, but I promise you that whatever time you're spending here tonight, you're going to have, uh, get value for what, uh, uh, for your time. You're going to get value for your time. I don't know if it is possible for me to have a speaker view, then if possible, you can, you can spotlight me because I will be using slide. Is it possible? Is it possible? Let me let me check on that. Okay. The, the slide is gonna now is also sharing your yeah the, yeah. No, no, I don't need to share my screen. I will just what I need is this. 
then you let myself when you I think this is this is okay. I think this is okay. Can you see me in full? Yes, we can see you. Okay, now let me let me show my slide if it is. Now can you see this clearly? Yes, yes, we can see it, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Good, good. yes, it's visible. Okay. All right, all right. Thank it's you. visible. All right, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you so much. So uh, we're looking at uh, the, the, sub, the topic, trade, brand, and penetrate the market. Trade, brand, and penetrate the market. This is something that uh, I've not, I think I will say this is the first time I'm seeing this topic home and abroad. <laughs> This is the first time I'm seeing this topic home and abroad. So, and that is one of the reasons I'm giving it up to Mr. George for this wonderful meeting, I'm giving it up to him uh, because this is, this is mind blowing. And I want to appeal to you to please stay till the end of this program because we're gonna get value for your time. Stay till the end. And if you have any question, please, there's gonna be, uh, um, there's gonna be a uh, question time, please note your question, pen your question, and uh, let us do this together, let this together. So now, uh, as we go on, we're going to be looking at, oh, there's a background noise that I want you to help us. So right now, we are looking at um, this topic, like I said, and uh, the first question that I have before you is, who are you? This is the first thing that you must ask yourself. Who am I? So if I ask you now, who are you? You know, <laughs> if I say, oh, who are you? Tell me about yourself. Who do you want to say you are? Who are you? <laughs> very, very important. You see, if I ask you who you are and it takes you time to tell me who you are, then there's, there's a problem. There's something that you need to fix in both your brand, your business, and your market. And then um, one thing that we also need to ask ourselves as we dive into this uh, uh, program tonight is, are you a trader or an information marketer or an investor? You see, in the Forex market, I have, uh, to the glory of God, I've seen so many things. I've seen so, I've met so many people, both the high net worth, medium and low income earners. And then um, and, um, I, I ask questions whenever I meet people, who are you? And if you are able to answer me, then I will know how to relate with you. So if you cannot answer vividly, oh, I am, I'm a, I am a trader or I am an information marketer. Oh no, I am an investor. There's a difference between a trader, an information marketer and an investor. Because this day we have so many, we, before now, we have so many noise in the market or in the space. Yes, let me use the word space. In the finance, everybody claims to be a trader. Everybody claims to be a coach. Everybody claims to be a trainer. Everybody claims to be a, 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 a mentor. And at a point, I kept low. I kept mute. I decided not to and some people were asking me questions sir are you still into trading are you still for uh, trading forex and i began to laugh i don't need to show off we'll get there we'll get there so begin to answer the question in your notebook who are you are you a, a forex trader or an information marketer or you are an investor <laughs> i believe i'm talking to forex traders so we don't we don't want to talk about technical analysis from that this uh, intermarket analysis sentiment you know and all those stuff here we just want to enlighten ourselves to know how to do what we are doing better now another question is before you and i and that question is are you a coach a trainer or a mentor now you see if you need to understand something in this market in this market and when i say in this market i'm talking about the financial market both the trading market, trading aspect, and also the coaching, the training, and the mentoring aspect of the business. Because I see business, the forex trading or the financial market as a business. 
whatever you're trading, either you're trading the Forex market, you're trading the stock, you're trading equity, you're trading meta, you're trading oil or Bitcoin, whatever, or cryptocurrency, whatever you're trading, you, I see it as, as something that you need to begin to look at yourself. Are you a coach? Are you a trainer or a mentor? See, everybody cannot coach. Everybody cannot train. Everybody cannot mentor. Everybody can. The market is open to everybody, but it is not advisable for everybody. Why? Because of the risk involved. Because of the risk involved. And uh, that is why I have to, I, I, I have to, to oh, I, I, okay. Can you hear me? Someone, I think someone is saying, the thing is not clear. Audio, uh, uh, something. We something can hear like you. Sir. I think it is audio. Okay. Please go oh, ahead. All right. Okay. Thank you. So now why am I asking que this question? I believe I'm talking to Forex mentors. I believe I'm talking to FX traders. And uh, you see, there is need for you to identify who you are. And uh, if you do identify who you are in this space, in this question that I'm asking, then it will be difficult for the Forex market in the next decade. Why? Now, why am I asking this question? One of the reasons is, have you been in a gathering and they ask you, what are you into? What are you doing? And you are like, um, 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 you can't really um, define what you do. And you see, there's a gathering that you are, you will be, by the time they ask you and it takes you time to answer, then you are missing connection. You are disconnecting from, from, from prospect, from prospect. So if you are a coach, let us know that, oh, I am a financial coach. Oh, what are you? I am a financial trainer. Oh, financial market um, uh, coach. I am a financial market trainer. I am a mentor in the financial market or in the financial space. So you let people, and you see the, 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 the game has changed now. You don't have, because when you say that now, people, there's this, uh, uh, um, this um, resentment. Let me use the word resentment. People, there's a way people will, will, will react when they hear Forex. Why, do you know why? because of the bad eggs in this industry, because of their experiences in the market, because of their experiences with the, with the so-called forex traders, forex coach, mentors, and trainers. And that is why I love tonight's topic, which is trade, brand, and penetrate the market. There is need for rebranding. We'll get there very shortly. We'll get there very shortly. Now, if you are a trainer, if you are a coach, if you are a mentor, this is another question before you. Are you trainable? A lot of trainers are not trainable. A lot of coaches are not coachable. Why so many mentors are not mentorable? If you are not trainable, if you are not coachable, if you are not mentorable, then there's no way you can penetrate the market because there is need for you to re unlearn, relearn, and also upskill. Upskill. Upskilling is one of the new language of the new normal. Now, I was I was I was making a study. I was I was I was making a study uh, before this program, and uh, I was looking at the the effect of COVID nineteen pandem pandemic in the financial market. I mean, not the weight, not the movement this time around, not we've saw, not um, you know. I'm looking at oh, what is people's um, psychology? The, 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 you know, people's psychology to the forex market, people's psychology to the financial market, people's psychology even to the cryptocurrency market. Le two days or three days ago, we heard Chinese, Chinese government saying that uh, central banks should not back support cryptocurrency. And you know what that means to the market? <laughs> you know what that means? So this is another thing that you need to look at. Are you coachable? Are you trainable? Are you mentorable? I think I'm I'm hearing someone. Uh, please uh, let's mute someone. Um, uh, Mister, please mute, 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 mute. FS Grandmaster, uh, please mute everybody so that we don't disturb ourselves. Don't disturb ourselves. Okay. Okay. So now let's continue. And uh, what I was looking at, I told you that there is need for rebranding. There is need for rebranding the financial market in Nigeria, 
and Africa, don't mind my grammar, and Africa at large, and Africa at large, there's need for us to do what to, to rebrand by the financial market, why, and uh, the, of people's, because of people's experience with, with the so-called traders who had the, the MBA Forex uh, saga that happened, uh, I think, late last year, late last year, I think, or early this year, where the MD or CEO of that company absconded with about um, 172 billion naira, and they all claimed to be trading Forex. There's another guy too that Forbes, Forbes magazine, uh, um, projected to be one of the youngest billionaires in Africa. And uh, I think last month he was he was jailed. And he has he is is <laughs> the guy is 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 with about two hundred uh, two billion naira. So. This is something that we need to be very, very careful. Even the Yahoo Yahoo boys now are also claiming that they are trading the Forex market. They are, tra they are claiming that they are trading cryptocurrency. And a lot of them are not, they don't understand this market. So there is need for rebranding the financial market in Nigeria and also Africa at large. In fact, don't be surprised. There is need for regulation in Nigeria and in Africa. There is need for to regulate both the stock brokerage firms to regulate every financial every every company that claims to be trading forex or cryptocurrency. There is need for even to regulate trainers, coaches, mentors, and this is an opportunity for 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 for, for people like you or for for you and I. This is an opportunity for us to begin to think, to begin to brainstorm, to begin to look at, oh, what can I do to make this business, to make this industry a better one? Because let me tell you, people are not, they don't have a lot of about, let's say 60% of people that came across Forex are running away from Forex. They are running away from Forex. Why? Because of their experiences because of, 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 of what they have. In fact, some of them have not traded Forex market before. Why? What they did was to give their money to some people that claims to be fund managers. And they, you know, the aftermath is not a good, a, a good story. It's not a good experience. So another thing that we have is that, um, yeah, yeah, you know, the Forex market is a huge market. It's a huge market that anybody can hide under the, under the umbrella of forex trading, under the umbrella of forex trading, under the umbrella of crypto, cryptocurrency or whatever. So there is need for rebranding. And now is the now is the place, now is the time to rebrand the financial market in Africa. Now is not the year is uh, uh, so please we need we need we need to rebrand now. This is the time to rebrand. This is the time. And if you want to rebrand, how do we rebrand? How do we rebrand? If you say, oh, I am just, I am just a one-man show. No, you can't say I'm a one-man show. We need everybody's hands to be on deck if we must rebrand. Because if there, is, if there is good branding about Forex trading, about cryptocurrency, about uh, equity, about options, about the, 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 the global stock market or whatever ma a market that you are trading, then you see the, 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 the opportunity will be, will, the, oppor the window, opportunity windows will be more, it will open more for you and I, because people want, want to come to you to do business with you. People want to want you to coach them or to mentor them and what have you. So this is one of the reasons why we need to rebrand the financial market now in Nigeria and also in Africa. Now, the first thing to be rebranded is your personal brand. The first thing to be rebranded is your own personal brand. Okay, okay let me remove S so that I will be, I will be communicating to you as an individual. So the first thing to be, to, be, to be branded now is your personal brand. And uh, if you want to rebrand re 
uh, the forex market and you're saying, no, oh, what do I, what do you mean by personal brand? Oh, blah, blah, blah. What do you mean by personal brand and stuff like that? I, I feel that I need, I need to, 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 to share some light in this, in this regard. Please let us, let us leave comments, the comment box now. Let's be focused so that uh, we don't have divided attention. We don't have leave the chat box now. Leave the chat box. We don't need to chat. We don't need to 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 counter anybody. Let us leave that comment chat now. Let's be focused because I believe you are getting value. Are you getting value from this? If you are getting value, drop that in the chat box. Say value, 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 value. Drop value in the chat box if you are getting value. Drop it. So the first thing that has to be rebranded in this industry. Before you can penetrate the market, there's need to rebrand. If there's no rebranding, there's no market. You cannot penetrate this, this market share. Now, the awareness is more than when we started Forex trading about um, two decades ago. Now, then, you know, even to open a, a Forex account is not easy. <laughs> then we were using brokers in Switzerland, in UK, and you know, the process of even opening a domiciliary account then is not easy. You have to go through a lot of rigorous processes. But now it is easier. We have a lot of these brokers having their visa their, in, in Nigeria. You can even trade in, in Naira now. Unlike then, we'll be looking for how to change, how to exchange in dollars to dollars before we get funded. And you know, you do a wire transfer, the bank will charge you for wire transfer. And they to take some like 42 day, uh, 42, uh, 42, uh, sorry, 72 hours before it gets there. It has about three days. Eventually, eventually you transfer during the weekend by Friday, then you have to wait till uh, like Tuesday or Wednesday before your account is, is, is funded. But today is not like that. So it shows that the market is more interesting. This industry is getting more interesting. But they need, there's need for rebranding and also trust to build trust because it is a business of trust. We are in the business of trust now. We are also in the business of people. People, the more we have people in this industry, the more we need to, to build our trust, build trust. If you don't build trust, then you can't build this industry. If you don't build trust, you cannot build in this industry because this is a, a, an industry that people can part with their investment, with their hard earned money, without asking you if you are regulated by SEC or by central bank. No, there are people who come with money. I mean, good amount of money. They, okay, I, I, they will come and say, okay, I want you to manage my fund. I want you to trade for me. But you know, that, show, that shows that it is a business of the people it is also the business of trust because if they don't trust you, they won't part with their money. And that is one of the reasons why you need to build your personal brand. One of the reasons to build your personal brand is please, it will help you, it will help your brand, it will also help whatever you are doing, it will help you so much to help you. Okay, no problem, okay. So it will help you so much to the extent that uh, people will definitely part with their money. They want to do business with you. I am sure of that. I'm very sure of that. So uh, uh, let me quickly announce that um, this account, this session might shut down in the one minute, but in with the same link, then post here and then also of your comment. Okay, I can see value, value. Value, oh, value, 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 value. Appreciate all of you for. I, I'm, I'm, I understand. I'm part of you. <laughs> so once the 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 stuff this session on the link again, you do automatically you you be connected to this. Uh, be connected to this meeting. So thank you. Uh, by the time we come back, 15 minutes, I believe we're going to learn so many things. So 
I want you to rejoin, please rejoin so that we can move faster. I'll be faster this, this joining for joining this meeting. And I, I am sure that uh, I'm sure that uh, you're getting value already, you're getting value already. So like I said, that um, you need to build your brand. You need to build your personal brand. Question before you, that do you know that there, there is a personal brand for all aspects of our lives? There is a personal brand for all aspects of our lives. How do I know that? Hmm. See, I, re I know because people are watching you both online and offline. A trader or you a, a trainer, a mentor in this industry, then project what build your image in that aspect. Build your brand in that aspect. Build your brand. So this is something that we need to deliberately begin to think about right now. That, oh, which aspect of my life do I want people to know? based on the business I'm doing? It's a very important question that you need to begin to ask yourself so that you are not seen as a politician today. Tomorrow you are seen as a, as a forex trader tomorrow. Next tomorrow you are being seen as a, an artist, a comedian, or you you know, yeah, it is where you can use brand. In fact, do awareness, as in we use social media to build brand awareness. And I used to teach a master class, and even I realized that um, if you do personal brand, I mean now because I want to be specific because I'm talking to traders. If you don't build your personal brand in the aspect of trading. In the aspect of uh, uh, you know trading the financial market, see, <laughs> people won't take you serious. People won't take you serious, and if they don't take you serious, you know it will affect every other person because they will categorize you as oh they are birds of the same feather, and that is what is happening now. Because we if we did not deliberately build our brand, a lot of yahoo yahoo ran into the industry and claim to be traders, and when you no, I'm a forex trader. Then ask them about one, ask them one technical question about, about the forex market. You see them, oh my guy, I mean, don't mind me, don't mind that one guy. So this is one of the reasons why we must not joke with our personal brand. And that there are different aspects of, of our lives that we can build the, our personal brand. The next question is, oh no, not question now. Your personal brand should answer several questions. And one of the questions that I have here is, what personal values are most important to you? And how does your trading business reflect that personal values? How, how, what are your personal values? What are the things that you, yeah, that, that you hold dearly, that you don't want it to tarnish your person, your personality, your image, your family name? You know, what are those personal values? If it is in, uh, um, integrity, transparency, or, or for those that are into the coaching or training industry in this, uh, uh, in this space, what are those values? Is it that you want to impart lives, you want to empower them? It is not all about getting their money because that is what one of the things I will see in this industry. That is one of the things I will see in this industry. A lot of people claim to be to be coaches. They claim to be they claim to be trainer, and they will just get your money and give you indicators, get uh, some e-books and bombard you with books and say be reading. You know, some they will not even give you books. Some will just uh, they will just give you indicators and tell you, oh, this, 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 this. Then once you know this one, it is it is enough. You can trade. You can trade. <laughs> you need to be careful because. See, anything you do now, people will talk about it tomorrow. And that is why you have to be careful about your personal brand. We know people that, that, that we're making 
I don't want to use the word noise. Let me use the word waves. That we're making waves in this industry. Sometimes in 20, 20, 20, 2007, 2008, 2009, that today there, there, were no, there are nowhere to be found. Why? Integrity. There's no personal values. They don't have values. They don't have, you know, they don't have uh, that, that, that values that people can trust. So you, understand, you must take note of this, that your personal values are most important to you. Yeah, it is not, see, let me tell you something. I used to tell my coaching clients, I mean, both uh, business, business coaching clients, Forex trading coaching clients, personal branding coaching clients, food and agribusiness or whatever, in any area that you want me to coach you, I would I would tell you, I would tell you, I would tell you this thing I'm saying now, that um, hmm, people are watching you. People will do business with you if they trust you. People will part with their money if they can sleep with their two heights when they see that you are a man of values. Please. So take note of this and don't joke with your value. Now the next, the next uh, question is, what's your story behind your trading business? See, I didn't say what is the story behind trading business. I say what is your own personal story? If you want to trade the Forex market and you want to brand yourself or you rebrand the, the system, this, I mean the Forex trading system uh, 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 in Nigeria and Africa at large, and also penetrate this huge market, then you must be able to tell your story, your personal story. We call it storytelling in marketing, storytelling. There's what we call storytelling techniques. We call it story, story even in personal branding, in branding, in, 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 in copywriting, in so many areas of life, there is the aspect of your own story. And you see, you are the best person that can tell your story. Nobody can tell your story like you. You are the best person that can write your story. So what is your, what is your story behind this trading business? This Forex trading business or cryptocurrency trading business or whatever trading business that you are into. What are the stories that people can learn from, that people can rely on, that people can use to trust your brand? Storytelling is one of the best strategy to penetrate the market, to penetrate the Forex huge market. I mean, when I say market now, I mean the training market, the, you know, even the trading market, people... The, the managing, fund managing uh, market where people will come and say, oh, I want you to, to, part, to, to manage my fund. I want you to manage my account. Like what Mr. George is doing, trade with George FX. Uh -huh. So, you know, this is something that people, he has a story. There's a story behind what he's promoting. So if he doesn't share that story, you won't trust him. You won't believe what he's, he's doing. There's a level he will grow to and then um, you will begin to share testimonials, testimonials of people that have gone through the programs. And you see, that will also encourage someone out there to be part of the industry. And by the time they are begin, becoming, to, becoming part of the industry, then what do, you be, what do you think will happen? The, the liquidity, the market liquidity will increase. And that means there's going to be more money to be made from the market. So... Your story is one of the best things that you must share in a time like this. Another thing is, do you have the skills and knowledge that ensures quality, that ensures quality that others can trust? Do you have that skills? Not that's, that, that was why I asked the question, are you a trader or an information marketer or an investor? Even if you are an investor, you don't know anything about trading. You want people to manage your fund for you. Please don't part with your money if you don't have the right knowledge about the forex market or about what you want to invest in. 
that is the way investors think. Investors, you see, when we talk about investors, investors are people that are knowledgeable people. They find out about what they want to invest in before they part with their money. They do their due diligence, research before they part with their money. So do you have that skills? Do you have the knowledge that ensures qualities, uh, the, the quality that others can trust for them to part with their money, even if it is to trade for them or to train them? Yeah. So I believe I'm talking to investors, to mentors. That's why I have to share all this with you. These are part of the things I share in my executive training programs. So I have to share it because, you know, I know it's going to help you. So are you getting value tonight? If you are there getting value, I want you to say, yes, this is value addition. This is value addition. Drop that in the chat box. Value addition. Value addition. Destroy the chat box with value addition. If you are getting value now, destroy the chat box with value addition. This is value. Oh, Kendi. Akonde, Kendi, thank you so much. Collins, thank you. Thank you. Value addition. God bless you. Abu Bakal, thank you. To thank you, promise. Thank you, thank you, Collins. Thank you, thank you, Chidima Ahmed Adewale. Thank you so much for dropping that comment in the chat box. Thank you so much. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. So, another thing that you need to consider is this: What exactly is personal branding? Let me quickly define personal branding before we wrap up. You know, like I told you, that this topic is broad, so we can't exhaust it today. We can't exhaust it today. But, you know, one of the things that helps me in this industry is this, is that I am a trader, I am a coach, I'm a mentor, and um, I'm a business owner, and I'm an investor. Uh, so it's easier. So I got to a, to a point in my career that I realized that, see, you, if I don't deliberately build my personal brand, I won't go to the next level. Because, you see, this is the way life works. This is the way life works. As you are growing in life, you get to a peak in life. It, you, it, if you, you get to a peak in life that um, you see that it seems as if you are not going beyond that peak. Now, if you don't build your brand, you see that new opportunities will not show up. Yeah. New opportunities in anything you do, not in trading alone, in everything you do in life. New opportunities will not show up if you don't deliberately build your personal brand. And what is personal brand, if you may ask? Number one definition is that personal branding is a big concept that can be executed in, a tons, in tons of different ways. And one of the ways is, is the process of marketing yourself like a household name until you actually become a household name. And that is why I love the way George is promoting his personal brand. There's a way you can use your, that's the advanced way. I used to teach this in my, with my, uh, with my, um, in my coaching uh, classes with my coaching clients, how to build, to use your personal brand to build a corporate or business brand. There's a difference between corporate and personal brand, corporate brand and product brand. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference. So, but there's a way you can use personal brand to build corporate brand. And that is why you see, when you see some of these banks, multinational companies, you see, you see a section maybe on their website or on their branch where they will have our team. And you see on their team, you see this is the board, the chairman of the board of director. They will tell you everything about him. He's, 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 he's a graduate of Harvard University. He owns this. He's a fellow member of ICANN. Is this, this, that. You know what they are trying to tell you? They are trying to be you to promote his personal brand for them to gain your trust so that you can do business with that organization. Oh, this is another one. Is this, is this, are you getting something tonight? Are you getting something here? Let me see. Yes, 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 yes. In the chat box, if you're getting something. So personal branding is the process of marketing yourself like a household name until you actually become that household name. And you know, when you are marketing yourself that way, you'll be conscious of what you do. You'll be conscious of what you say. You'll be conscious of what you wear. 
And I'm not saying you'll be wearing a, a customized thing. It is not about customization or logo or whatever or color or wearing expensive thing. It is about you building your integrity, your integrity, your reputation. Knowing that, oh, there's a brand I'm building. I must not be found there. I, I can't, they can't, they, they should not found me doing this type of a thing. You get it? So this is something that you must deliberately, deliberately begin to think about. There are some businesses they'll bring to me. I don't, I will say, if it doesn't go with my personal brand, I don't want to be part of it. Like when people were shouting about cryptocurrency, crypto the currency when it first came up you know what i did i think i was in the u.s then i began to read about it then i also studied i did a course in, when i was in the u.s about cyber security you know where we were we were taught about uh, uh, uh cryptography you know how how they hack into people's accounts even presently i'm working on i'm doing ethical hacking training right now so you see it is not because I'm a trader. I'm a trader. I don't want to. I don't. You have to expand your mind. You need to learn. Oh, there are so many things to share. So you begin to brand yourself like a household name. And until you become that household name, that is personal branding. The next one is personal branding is not just a logo. In fact, branding generally is not just a logo. Logo is your brand identity is one of your brand identity that whenever they see this like what you're seeing on my screen right now you can see Taiwo Balogun at the top here okay is it no, is it yeah you can see Taiwo Balogun there that's right that's my my brand logo okay <laughs> ICT thank you thank you so now you can see my logo now because I am building a personal brand I, I, I am building a personal brand, uh, 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 Taiwo Balogun. I want something that, I want something that my, my name, when my children mention my name anywhere and say, oh, there are saying me Taiwo, I from Balogun as a compound name. They will say, which of the Taiwo Balogun? And you can see deliberately I'm building an household name. Deliberately I'm building integrity. Deliberately I'm building something that, will become a social capital or it's social capital or relationship currency. There's what we call relationship currency. That see, when you get to a level in life and everything you want to do, you have to pay, you have to pay, you have to pay, then you need to work on yourself. It is not everything that you pay for. I'm not saying you are begging for people. You see, there are some things you, you want to do. People, you should build a brand, your personal brand to the level that people will trust you and say, oh, oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll, feel, I'll feel that. Don't worry. I'll take everything you want to do in life you are paying for. Then, So your brand, your logo is just your brand identity. It is not your brand per se. It is, it is something, it is the pictorial representation of your value, of your vision, of your no, let me start with vision. The pictorial repre representation of your vision, of your mission, of your core, of your values, what you believe, what what do you believe, what do you want to be known for. Yeah, these are the things that I'm challenging you to don't uh, don't let them when they mention your name and say ah, do you know George? Oh, ha, 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 don't mention that guy's name yet. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything. No, that will not be your portion. When they say George, you mean you mean George FX? Oh, that guy. Oh, he's a good guy. Ah, no, no, no. He's a trust uh, worthy guy. Is it? Yeah, you know, he's reliable, transparency. You know, something. Ah, when they mention Taiwo Balogun, three things should come to your mind, and that is what we call three word statement. When you mention my name. Uh, you must talk about impact. I am passionate about impact, impacting lives. I must, I'm passionate about motivation, motivating lives, motivating you. And I'm also passionate about inspiration, inspiring you. <laughs> so those are the three key, uh, three word statements about Taiwo Balogo. Like when they say uh, Nike, 
just do it. Three word statement, big, strong, reliable. You should know that bank. So you also need to begin to think of three word statement that they will, you will use to identify, to build, to define yourself, to define your personal brand or whatever brand you are building so that you can quickly penetrate this industry, this market, this opportunity. Personal branding is an ongoing process of developing and maintaining a reputation and impression of an individual group or organization. There's no time. We need to wrap up very, very shortly. Now, your personal brand is how you promote yourself. See, don't, don't post anything anyhow on the social media. What you don't want them to use against you in the, in the nearest future, don't post it on the social media. Please, please do not do that. Do not post what you don't want to be called on social media because people are keeping stuff. They are keeping archives. They have archives. <laughs> it is the unique combination of skills, experience, your personality that you want your followers to see. So if you are projecting today, oh, body is not good. Tomorrow, oh, it's Braflair. Hey, next tomorrow is the urban nation. Oh, next tomorrow, oh, I saw, I saw. Uh, hammer. I saw hammer in the market now. Hey, next tomorrow. Oh, hey, this is going to happen in the cryptocurrency. People will just be looking at you. What is this guy up to? So, personal branding is the telling of your story and the impression people gain from your online reputation. That is personal branding. Please, deliberately, deliberately build your personal brand. Now, the huge, the market is huge. Let's talk about penetration now before we wrap up. Let's talk about penetration before we wrap up. Thank you. Thank you, George Magnus, for that encouragement. Value, value. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can do some little tweaking here. All right. Okay. So now, what are we looking at? The market is huge, but there's knowledge gap in Africa. There is knowledge gap in Africa. And don't let that was limited to Africa alone. I was in, in the United States training forex trading training in 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 the US. And one of the, the one of my coaching clients, well, one of those that saw that, but uh, uh, registered is an Amer Black American, and the guy was like. When we were talking, because, we, because one thing about me is before I sign you up into my coaching program, I will interview you. So I interviewed him. I said, tell me your experience about this. For how long have you been in this industry? Uh, what's your experience? And the guy was telling me a lot of things. In fact, he is a veteran, a, a military veteran. So he was telling me so many things. I said, okay, no problem. Let's start the class. So when we began online, he was like, he got to a level. He said, "Who are you?" I said, well, "This is one." I said, "Is that the way?" He said, "I've never come across a trainer like you that, that what you are telling me." I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "Do you know America? The way they taught us, even from from kid, is for us to be competitive. So we are always aggressive to be competitive with even even in the forex market. That's why so many of us are losing." I said, "What? Really?" He said, "Yeah." Yes. So the way knowledge gap is everywhere, but the, the gap is wider in Africa. The gap is what is wider in Africa. And how do you penetrate this market? How to, to penetrate the financial market in Africa? Number one, deliberately build a trusted brand. Deliberately do what? Build a trusted brand from what I've been telling you before now. Number two, branding is not just logo Oh no, all the shirt you are wearing customized. No, branding is the results. People are tired of these screenshots. This uh, phone screenshot that, that, that we are sharing. At times when I see those things, I, it pisses me off. I have to, I'm sorry, I have to say it. That does not show that you are a trader. It does not show that you are a professional trader. That does not make you a successful trader. Yeah, yeah. If you want to share something, share something that, share constructive, valuable content. See. If you want to build your personal brand, you must learn content marketing. 
<laughs> I thought I knew content marketing until I did a master program in digital marketing in one institute in institute in India. When those guys dream my head, I say, what? Since then, my, my content change. Yeah, it changed. Even anything, I can turn anything to valuable content. And you'll be wondering, wow, really? Because there are tools that will, talk, that will help me to do that. And also creativity. So people are tired of this screenshot of uh, MT4, MT5 platform that we are sharing up and down. Please, we need to change. We need to be creative with our content, even as forex traders. That does not mean that, uh, that does not show that ah, is a, is a successful trader or profitable trader. They want results. They want value. Give them valuable content. Give them valuable content. And the next one, or the last one that I have here, is be a solution provider. Look for a specific problem to solve in this industry. Is it the knowledge gap industry that you want to solve, the, the knowledge uh, problem or skill problem you want to solve? Solve it. Let them know you for who you are in this industry. Please mute that person. I'm sorry. Please mute him so that he doesn't interrupt us. So please look for a solution, a problem to solve, a specific problem. You can't solve all problems, but look for a, a specific problem to, to solve. And on this note, let me close with this quote, that your personal brand reflects more than what people think of your product or your service. It's what they think of you and will determine what your business will really be what in the end. So on this note, I want to appreciate you for your time. Thank you. I am Tayo Balogun. And these are my contacts, if you want to contact. Over to you, George. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I will follow my This is extraordinary. This is, this is far, far, far from my expectation. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the, the, the mark and you supersede it. Thank you so much, sir. sir. We are so much grateful. And um, we cannot thank you enough for this time that you have spent with us. I'm speaking on behalf of everybody here. If we're all allowed to speak right now, I know that everybody's going to take our time to express their heart towards you. So, sir, we are so much grateful. And um, we are going to show our gratefulness through producing the kind of results that is required mm -hmm. in our continent, Africa, expanding to the, to the global community. And definitely, we have you. is so much um, impactful, so much a blessing to have you on our platform. You know, you've been with us even in the WhatsApp group. And um, it, you have been so humble to be with us. So, so I was so much grateful, and um, we are with you. you. With everybody Thank you. Here. Everybody hopes to top up their brand, build their brand, business called Dolphin, whatever it takes. So you are Thank in you. there for us. I've already dropped the message. So for those that want value, you meet value with value, bring value to the table. So wouldn't tolerate and be an asking for one thing to the other. I'm speaking to my audience right now. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Today. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So uh, I think we can be able to welcome um, questions. Even if it's one, two, three questions, since we have all okay. the okay. okay. to spend. So if okay. you have a question, you can drop, um, drop it on the comment section. Raise your hand. That could be the two options we can use for now. But to make it Okay. Okay. For now, we'll welcome just the comment section since we have less than ten minutes to close down. So the, the questions can only take part section. It will be attended to while we have just five minutes to give um, questions. Okay. Questions on on trade on branding, expensive on branding. Penetrating the matter. Most of us are mentors. You may have some personal issues. We expect you to ask questions. If you can ask questions here, we still have okay. a WhatsApp platform. You can drop your question. I can see a question 
from um, okay, someone. Right. What do we post if we are not to post our 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 trade screenshot? Hmm. Good question. Good question. Right. Thank you. Okay, today, Pastor Tawabalu, thank you so much. So you know that I'm a pastor. <laughs> All right. So, Bright, there are so many things that you can post. There are so many things that you can post. There are so many things that you can post. You can begin to post educational something, educational posts. Instead of showing screenshots. See, do you know why? From experience, you must be reading psycho. You must be, there's what we call um, people's psychology. You must begin to study people's psychology about your industry. How do they react to what we are doing? You should be asking questions. I have to tell you, George can bear witness. There are so many people that when they hear Forex, they will run away from you. Yeah. So now, if you now have, do you know that for, yeah, if you continue to share your screen, your screen, your screen, your screenshot, the screenshot, the screenshot, if you get to a level you want to also share something else, you'll be, you'll be like reluctant to share it because you are used to sharing screen or screenshots. So share educational content. There are different things that you can share, even in the Forex market. If you want to target technical analysis alone, you cannot exhaust it. Just begin to talk about one thing on technical analysis, or if it is fundamental, or you just begin to talk, whoa, look at what is, begin to analyze the market, not screenshots. If you want to use screenshots, let there be a, an educational content behind it. That people, do you know that people are becoming, they are becoming, they are becoming tired of salesy, salesy posts. People post that advertise buy, 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 sell, 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 sell. Now, storytelling is the, is the new technique that people are using to sell. Because people are getting tired. On TV, you see them, you see advert, buy, 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 buy. On social media, again, sell, 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 sell. So people are getting tired. But the people that have, that are strategic about their business, they, they, they look for ways to develop content that will appeal to them. So that by the time you are, you are, you now bring whatever, what you have in mind, Along the uh, at the end of the day, people will say, "Wow!" So I think I've been able to answer that. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. How do you penetrate the market profitably? Okay, uh, Michael Chigoze, penetrating the market. You know, if you joined earlier, I told you that market in this context does not really uh, is, is does is not limited to trading the forex market. We are looking at the forex market in terms of trading and also the educational market, educational aspect of the forex space, and also the fund management. So when I say market, penetrating the market, when we say penetrating the market, in the broader sense, we mean both trading and also the educational part of the, of the forex trading, and also, you know, the fund management, the fund man, even if you want to manage for now, if you don't properly manage, uh, build your brand, people will run away because of their experience. So please, it is something that you need to, you need to begin to, to so to penetrate the market profitably, build your, a personal, a trusted brand, build a trusted brand. Sometimes, um, I think it was in 20, 2008, my mentor, Dr. Sonio Diagbaze, the publisher of Community Sport and Success Digest, told me something. Then he said, Taiwo, he said, this is the best time for you to build, to develop products. I didn't understand. He said, develop products. I was like, who oh, develop products? Which type? What is product? What type of product? How can I do products? So until I sat down and looked inward, I developed a trading system, a customized trading system. So please penetrate. You can penetrate profitably. There are so many ways. There are so many ways. Can we post investor's password? Why will you post investor's password? Samuel, why will you post investor's password? <laughs> That's a funny question anyway. How do your Forex mentorship look like? Okay, AJ. You can check my link. You can check my website, www.taiwobalogun.com slash forex mentoring. 
slash taiwobalugun.com slash forex mentoring. I have all everything about ment uh, my forex mentoring program there. Although it's not cheap, it's expensive, but if you can be part of it, then what are the courses outlined for the mentorship? Everything is on that page, taiwobalugun.com. You can see taiwobalugun.com then slash forex mentoring. It will take you to the page. Then what else? What advice will you will you give a forest rookie who is trying to be a professional trader, sir? <laughs> the advice is don't stop learning. Learn, keep learning. You see, one of the things that helped me in this industry at the early stage was I invested in infrastructure. Yeah, I, I invested in infrastructure. I have when I started at a point, I was using VSAT to trade. Wild Bank were using VSAT then. I was using VSAT to trade. Because then the internet connection was not okay in Nigeria. So I needed something that will give me what I need. So by virtue of that, I have access to videos, resources, materials, ebooks from, from mentors across the world. So please, and it's easier now, not, not like when we started that, before you get ebook. Hey. <laughs> so please read, attend uh, programs, look for trusted mentors that you can, you can begin to. And you know one thing about mentor and mentee is this. Don't be a burden upon the, on that mentor because they also have their own body. They have their own body. So what other question? Thanks for your enlightenment. Thank you, Bright. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, thank you, Balogun. God bless you. Investor pass passport to show your clients. You don't need that. You don't need it. You don't need it. Uh, Samuel, you don't need that. You don't need that. See, if you build a, 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 a trusted brand, hey, people, see, I have I've, 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 I've done business with someone that I did not, that didn't know my house up to date. Eh? And we've transacted millions. I'm telling you, millions. The first thing that, we, would, that he did for me was after I trained him, in, in, he flew me from my country to, his, to where he was, he was to train him about Forex. And he paid for the ticket, everything, visa, everything was done. And after that, he said, I wanted to manage fund. I said, I don't manage fund. He said, I wanted to manage. And one day he just called me to a meeting and I said, I will, uh, it just skills $22,000 in my hand. You know, as if you skill 5,000 naira, it just skills the money and said, I will, this is $22,000, go and use it. I said, that for what? He said, I don't have time. I'm in a meeting. I'll talk to you later. He didn't know my house. He didn't know anything about me, just on Facebook. We connected on Facebook. I'm telling you the true life story. I can't lie to you. Do you need to know everything on Forest to be, a prof to be profitable? Because people are buying courses upon courses just to be profiting. You don't need to know everything about forest to be profitable. What you need to know is know, <laughs> develop, develop a trading system. A trading system that will suit your own personality. For me, some people will say I'm a technical analyst. I'm a technical trader. Some people will say I'm a, I'm a fundamental trader. Some people will say, oh, I'm a Monik trader. I'm, you know, see, all those things is good. But what you need is understand your personality one thing about profiting in the forex market is understand your person your person are you mature to handle losses are you mature to handle profit you know there's a way you'll be trading in the forex market and you see huge amount of profit and you say ah this one is enough you just close bam <laughs> so you know understand your personality and now build be with qualified is, is discipline. A lot of traders are not disciplined to, to hold on to long-term trade. Like, okay, you are doing eight months, one year, one year profitable trading that is consistent. You know, even if it is, there's the, the, you know the way we have um, chat on the, on, the, on the platform, on the trading platform, and then it will come down, it will go up, but at least there's there is a build up to uptrend. It's coming down, it's going up, but the trend is still up. Even if we see that, yeah, it's better. One thing that we must understand in this market is this, in showing your account or 
investor's password is see you are not trading to impress anybody and don't say because i'm looking for money to you know i want to manage this person's fund i'm looking for and that's why i have to be doing <laughs> no no at most of the time it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that way so that question that question so uh if there's any other question please you can drop that in the chat box and then um, we can also look at that question together then let me also let me also drop this before we leave for those of us that are managing funds and that are also promising high returns on investment please be careful be careful be careful be careful be careful what do I mean by high returns, high returns on investments? Some people will say, oh, bring your money. Because I still see, I listen to radio stations, I listen to radio programs, I listen to a lot, I read so many things. Hey, please be careful. And for take your money to those guys that promise heaven and heart, also be careful. If someone claims to be trading Forex and you are into Forex, trading and they are asking you to come and put your money somewhere then don't put your hard hand money or money that you cannot lose you can separate some amount of money and say okay after this two thousand dollars let me drop it in at least if it, if i lose that money it won't affect my business it won't affect my main business it won't affect my account let that one be rolling hey jay <laughs> he says what type of trader am i <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. So please, for those of you that are managing funds, if you've been doing high returns on investment, you can review it. It is not forever. Yeah. And that's why I told you about COVID, uh, 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 COVID um, the new normal and the Forex markets. You need to begin to look at that because there's no much money in circulation like that that people wants to waste their money yes there's poverty in the land people are looking for way out they're looking for how to how to get out of this property very fast and that's why they are entering into investment programs that they don't know about but if you are running investment program i want to advise you enlighten your or your client before they they part with their money or before they invest in your program enlighten them this is the way this business is this is high this business is good or it has its own risk are you okay with the risk then let's go so that if anything happens you are not running from post to pillar you are not I, I, we've seen stories of people that commit suicide because they lost account or they lost money yeah different stories different i mean different stories so i pray that will not be your own portion in the name of jesus all right so uh is it a must for every trader to rebrand stuff some can just want to learn trading and start trading without coaching and giving out signal yeah it is yeah it's possible a lot of people don't even want to want to be known a lot of people don't want people to know that they are even trading yeah i know i know i have i know of a pastor in the uk who happens to be uh, uh, at the at the top man in Cadbury or Nestle before he relocated to Nigeria to UK. If this man talks about about forex and other markets for you, you would you would not believe it. And he's a pastor, but he will never mention it to his members. Apart from the fact that we that knows each other, that you know, and I, I will look at look at oh what's happening here? I did this investment. I did. He will never mention it to his members. Is a big time, I mean, big time person in the UK. So some people don't want to be known for, they don't even want people to know that they are, they are close to Forex. So just do your thing, take your money full, and then, you know, you excuse yourself. Nobody knows what you're doing. In fact, now that security issue is a big thing in Nigeria, then you don't need to be making noise. <laughs> You don't need to be making noise like, ah, I made this, I made that, I did, I'm a forex trader. No, you don't need it. Okay, in a forex academy uh, brand, is giving out signal compulsory or a must? No, it is not compulsory. It is not a must. 
but it is a, a product that you can develop if you are good in that aspect. It's part of the opportunity in this industry, signal or analysis. I prefer using the word market analysis than signal because over time, and that is why we need rebranding. Over time, if you see from inception, when Forex was introduced to us, the word Forex signal has been bastardized. So that is one of the reasons why we need rebranding. So I prefer to use this is or market updates, you know, something like that is preferable because the word signal, people think, especially those that are getting it, they think that, oh, they don't need to do any work. You just send me the signal. All I need to just do is to just press my phone or go to my laptop and then, uh, you know, just place the trade. They think that you've done all the work. They don't have to do anything. And that is one of the reasons why so many people are losing. Okay, when you send a signal, maybe it's based on, like me, I used to be, I love breakout trading strategy. I am a London uh, uh, session lover. I love this London session, especially when the New York market is about, is overlapping with the London session. Now, and you know, that time there's more volatility and I, uh, my strategy, the strategy I use, I use more breakout. So now if you miss, and one thing about uh, Signal is this, if you miss the timing, you miss, Miss the market, you miss the money. So now, if you now send out signal, the, your own analysis is based on timing, so so time, and the person works up and um, maybe two or three hours late, and still want to trade that signal. And after the market has moved, <laughs> you understand. So what do you expect? He or she will lose the uh, the trade, and now be blaming you. Oh, the signal that I sent is not working. Meanwhile. There is also time limit to whatever you are generating. Why some uses the, it is it opens. They can say, oh, this uh, signals goes for two so hours, twenty four hours, blah, 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 for days and stuff like that. Some people, some traders, do they have that patience to stay for that long time? These are some of the things you ask yourself to go into that into that uh, industry. All right. Okay. AJ, what I've answered your question. I think I've answered your question. That's right, sir. Weekly analysis. Okay, yeah, weekly analysis would be good instead. Okay, get rich quick scheme syndrome has damned us here in Nigeria and has made training a lot more tricky. How do we try to manage our mentees? Okay, yeah, managing your mentees still boils down to you branding yourself, build your personal brand. And don't forget, personal brand is all about, about your logo, your color. It's about the value you are bringing to the table. Give them value and they will want to stick with you. That is just it. Give your mentees value and they will stick with you. I am telling you the fact. I'm telling you the fact. So what's your advice? What's your advice on EAs and trade copiers? Yeah, if you have, if you have what it takes to buy EAs, why not? expert advisor but for me ever since i've been trading i've not used i've not used ea i have not bought one although i've bought customized indicators i've bought trade um ai even before this time that people are now shouting ai i've bought ai worth ten thousand dollars yeah i'm telling you i have proof <laughs> i have proof <laughs> i mean since how many years ago, and I still have it. So, you know, you expert advisor is good if that is if it goes with your own uh, personality and trading style. Then trade copier, yeah, some people use it and it works for them. Trade copier works for some people, especially those that are that are, that don't have really have their time to sit down with. Why some people have the time to you know they have the time and the resources. To, to monitor the market and they can you can you can copy their trade you can copy their, their trade okay okay aj i think your question is i'm a retail trader i'm a, i'm not an institutional trader i'm a retail trader yeah i'm a retail trader so i and then um, I, I, i'm a personal trader too i don't i don't I don't collect money from people to trade. I don't do it. 
I've done it in the past, but it's, it's, it's very draining. Very draining. It can drain your, uh, your, your energy. Okay, okay, today I'm a witness, sir. Witness to what? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, today will you hear me? I think this man knows me very well. Though. He's calling me Chaplin again. <laughs> okay, thank you. In as much as we've tried to empower people by cutting down on training fees a lot, feel your training feel has a lot to do with your impute as a trainer. Any take on that? Yeah. Now you see, one thing about training training field is this. I there's no training field that is too much because whatever you are giving, if you are giving value, value should be should be priceless. If what you are giving is value, it should be priceless. And one thing, see, one thing about pricing generally, pricing, you must understand the psychology of pricing is that if you are too cheap, you will not attract some people. You will not attract because they are, they are not looking for cheap stuff. They feel that if this thing is cheap, it doesn't have value. So if you are able to identify your niche, your target audience, then that will now determine, determine your price. Icing, here about what you're doing, being be in training, whatever you're doing, your market, your audience, your target market determines your price. And uh, don't force anybody to be in your program. Like me, why I place that high bar on my training is because I don't want everybody in my training program. Why I am into so many things. And I don't want you to become a body on me. When you pay some little amount of money and you want my time, you want all my 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, no, no. I only want people that knows what they want and I give it to them. You, so I'm not looking for everybody. So if you are into training or you are into mentoring program, don't be looking for everybody. You can't sell to everybody. You can only identify your market and target them. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, okay. <laughs> his trading system that AJ is just after. <laughs> he just want me to tell him I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm using I'm, I'm using this. See me, I don't. I can trade with um with um indicators. I can decide not to use any indicators because from experience, I can do price action. From experience, even line that horizontal line in low identify higher high lower low and then look at, do analysis and say price action or chatting. And I, and I, and I, I go. So I am not an indicator of blah, blah, blah. The best, the consistent thing that I keep using is pivot point. I don't joke with pivot point. If I develop my, I have my own pivot point that I developed myself. So uh, you can, any trader you see me trade, you must see. So, <laughs> and I don't just use daily. I use daily, I use weekly, I use monthly and yearly five bucks. So that I, I think that's my answer to that. Okay. Are you a day trader or trend trader? Ah. I am not a day trader, day trader, sitting down on a chart every day. No. Yeah, some people, if you chart them, they will be like, nah, because you know get fun to trade. No, it's not like that. When you build your personal brand, see. I, I I told you I did I did I did them um, Black Friday sales while I was in the US. But by the grace of God on Monday I'll be in the US, I'll be in the US again by Tuesday. Next week Tuesday by God's grace. And that's why I said let me let me honor this invitation today because I'll be busy all through next month in, in the US. So uh, see, it is not because it doesn't have money to trade. It is not because you, know, you see when you have when you get your personal branding right and you have in your copy while you are writing your sales copy there are some keywords that you have to be using that will connect with your audience you see you have to learn it you have to learn that <laughs> okay same as when you are too expensive okay some will say you are too expensive hmm. third food sir okay thank you Retail trading using which trading system? I've, 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 I've answered that. I've answered that. Okay. I don't scalp. I don't scalp. I used to be a scalper, a professional scalper, but I stopped scalping. 
I prefer, I do, I prefer long-term trading. I can lift trade for one big two area. I prefer swing. Okay, please more answers should be posted in the WhatsApp group. All right. Retail, thank you, George. Yeah, yeah. Retail trading has nothing to do with. <laughs> uh, thank you, Grandmaster. Okay, what's your advice on lovers of this? Okay, yeah. Let them do it if they know about it. Let them do it. Let them do it as well, as long as they know how to trade it. Let them do it. Okay. Pivot, pivot, point. Oh, I see pivot. Why do bosses like like pivot support system? Honorable colleagues say. <laughs> okay. Which word should I use? A teacher, a coach. If people I teach. Yeah, I think you can mention it. Yeah, I think you can you can begin to use or a coach. Yeah, coach. There's a way you begin to to build yourself, and you know the the word coach is becoming common. Coach in what area? Okay, like if I want to, if, like the way I like to identify to, to 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 introduce myself. If I'm saying if I want to introduce myself to a forex trader or in a forex gathering, I say I am Tayo Balogun a forex market strategist or a forex strategist. Simple, a forex strategist. That is, the, in fact, strategies I can tell you, I can, I can, as a strategist. <laughs> so, you know, in while you are building your brand, you look for nice words that will, that, will, that will resonate with your audience. All right, I love using one, one day, one hour, one day, daily, weekly, if it is good to use it and do, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. But it's better to use from a time frame than to come to lower time frame. Then you now use maybe the lower time frame for your entry. Okay, please, let's continue with the remaining question. Yes, in the group. Thank you. I need to, I need to also go. I need to go. You know, I told you I'll be traveling on Monday. Uh, uh, so I'm preparing to, to, to leave. <laughs> the, which, which word should I use? Okay, I think Okay. okay, join the WhatsApp group. George, George will add you to the WhatsApp group. All right. Okay. I think I've answered the question. Your voice just breaks up. I'm not hearing. How do you reduce yourself? Oh, someone should help me. Okay. Right. I said introduce yourself. The way you introduce yourself is don't you know the word trainer, teacher, coach is look for what like now so many people don't call themselves fashion designer, they call themselves um, garment experts. So you know we need such creative, creative stuff in this industry. Uh, who are you? I'm a forest trader, I'm a forest coach. <laughs> Me, I don't say I'm a forest trader, I tell you I am a forex strategist, or I tell you technical analyst because i'm also a member of the uh, mt mt market technician association of uh, america, united united states america and also uh, i used to be a member of uh, ifta if that's international Federation of um, technical analysts yeah. be a member to a french the nigerian chapter anyway so yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, you said that Balogu, foreign exchange. Then, oh, I've repeated that again. I've repeated that again. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so, John, over to you. Yeah, thank you very much for this wonderful segment, sir. We really do appreciate. With lots of time consumed, was so grateful. Thank you. And now we'll go ahead. You say what? Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. 
So quickly, we have a very short question, and um, it's going to be on the pre evaluation that we talked about. I'm going to speak a little about it right now. Why, in the group, I'll be able to rest of the information. So, first of Can all, you permit me to in our funding program. Can you permit me to leave? Yes, I will. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So, first of all, um, we have all the mentors at heart. We have you at the center of what we are doing. That's why we are organizing this program. This is the first of its kind. This is just um, a test of it. This is just um, a tip of the iceberg. We have lots and lots more for you. We have um, a lot, lot of Options coming from to you from all the parts of the world. You're gonna see some persons that you know. You're gonna see persons that you don't know. You're gonna see some persons maybe not on the social media. They are so popular. You're gonna have them on this platform and get you. Now for the funding program, we provide funding for traders. Um, splash money in the air. We don't just dash money. Uh, money are not grown on trees. Other you keep them on the floor. So. We utilize the evaluation program. So a trader is tested by evaluation. So when the trader passes the evaluation, the trader is funded. There's a fee for it, which shows that the trader is committed to what he's doing. When you pass, you get a refund of that. So we brought out a challenge. We specified what to do in order to qualify for these three evaluations. We had a lot of people that did marvelous things. A lot of people did, um, had lots of impact. Probably they were not able to do all the action plans that we set, but one or two actions, they took steps to, to make it happen. So what we are going to do is this, because we're going to, we're taking notes of all the attendees, and we're going to make this happen. So we are rolling out um, for 